Tricase extends between the last southeastern slopes of the Serre Salentine. The territory falls within the Costa Otranto Regional Park, Santa Maria di Leuca and Bosco di Tricase, a heritage rich in history and ancient links with the Levant, as evidenced by the Byzantine Abbey of the Myth, which still stands out with its tower in the countryside of Tricase. The intertwining of different historical events and traditions make Tricase an urban unicum in the context of the Salento municipalities. With a princely family of Gallone, Tricase became in the 17th century the administrative center of a vast field of territory, which from Save extended towards Silversano and Nociglia. The fortunes of the family still shine today in the prestigious artistic commissions preserved in the city's churches works of high value made by renowned artists of the most serene Republic of Venice. In the 20th century, Tricase became a fundamental part of the production and processing of tobacco products in the province of Lecce and developed during the 20th century an economic attitude to the tertiary sector. Today, with its 17,000 inhabitants, it stands in the territory of Capo di Leuca as a center of services ranging from education to trade, small businesses, transport, and especially to the health sector with its hospital center d'excellence. The historic center of Tricase still retains the charm of the past, where the late 16th century public housing makes a synthesis with the sumptuous palaces of the country's aristocratic families. In ancient times, the main street of the village was crossed by numerous pilgrims heading for the sanctuary of the Madonna de Finibus Terre in Santa Maria di Leuca. On the road, you can admire the late 15th century church of the presentation of Santa Mary to the temple. In front of it, there is the Casa Palaziata, belonging to the Montano Pisinelli families. Even today, the historic center of Tricase, with its beehive of allies and lanes, lets you take a leap into the past. This is thanks to corners of other times that fascinate not only visitors from far places, but also the inhabitants of Tricase themselves. Among the most elegant architectural views of the province of Lecce, Pisanelli Square is the open-air living room of the inhabitants of Tricase. Always considered the point of social aggregation, the square is framed by a range of monuments belonging to different eras. The Church of Saint Domenico di Guzman dominates the architectural scene, while the Palace of Princess Gallone from Tricase offers with its austere and linear structure a perspective continuity to the architecture of the square. It is a range of different eras and styles marked by the neoclassical style of 16th century architecture. At the center of the square stands the bronze statue of Giuseppe Pisanelli from Tricase made in 1924 by the sculptor Antonio Bortone from Rufano. Pisanelli was an important Italian jurist and patriot. With the unification of Italy, he became Minister of Grace and Justice from 1862 to 1864. The majestic statue honors the prestige of the famous man and gives a touch of elegance to the entire square. The princely palace is the result of different modifications and murders that took place between the 15th and 20th centuries. Most of the work was carried out in the second half of the 17th century, thanks to the will of the Gallone family, when Tricase became the chief town of a vast principality extended in southern Salento. Among its people, the structure is also known as Castello, since for more than 300 years 
it offered protection and security to the inhabitants of the village. Over the centuries, the palace has retained its dual function to defensive one, which can be found in its austerity and its military campasia, and the representative of Yuda power, characteristic inherent to its majesty and in the magnificence of the interior spaces. The throne room is the direct testimony of the opulence and riches of the Gallone family of Tricase. At the center of the mosaic floor, there is a coat of arms of the noble family. In this hall, the Gallon princes received commercial agents, administered their vast estates and exercised their feudal rights. The Gallons, probably of Greek origin, belong to the New Zealand aristocracy of the 17th century, linked to the financial context of the production and export of oil and cereals. The old tourist magna, dating back to the 14th century, is next to the structure of the palace. The walls are thick and powerful. In fact, they reflect the style of the traditional medieval defensive architectures of Terra do Tranto. In the dungeons of the tower are preserved hundreds of graffiti carved over the centuries by prisoners. The incisions made by some Turkish Ottoman inmates must be dated back to the 16th century. Among these, the Volto del Giannizzero stands out. Since 1954, the palace is a municipal property and is the most important cultural container in the village. On bright and sunny days, the 17th century church of San Domenico projects its elegant and checked shadow on the open-air living room of Pisanelli Square. The building stands just outside the ancient village, facing the master church of the village and watching over the feudal palace of the Gallone princes. The bell tower, with its typical Baroque spire, stands out on all the civil and religious monuments of the village. The interior is characterized by the presence of the hanging wooden sky, decorated with turquoise and golden motifs. The side altars show the precious baroque carvings. It is a triumph of angelic statues and caribs, characteristic examples of the civilization of later stone. From 1810, the Fraternity of the Holy Rosary takes care of the building and its care. The confraternity was established in Tricase in 1579 by the Dominican Fathers and it is among the oldest lay associations in the province. The church is annexed to the ancient Dominican convent of the saints Pietro and Paolo, suppressed in 1809 by the Napoleonic laws and today the seat of several municipal offices. The entrance portal is located on the north side of the building. The part above is embellished by a small bell tower and a civic clock. On the facade is a marble plaque placed in memory of the victims of the 15th of May 1935, when five citizens of Tricase were killed during a protest animated by the tobacco workers. The Arcade, or rather the Industrial Agricultural Cooperative Company of Capo di Leuca, for decades has represented the economic and manufacturing hub of Tricase and the surrounding area. It was established by Sir Alfredo Codacci Pisanelli in 1902 with the aim of organizing the phases of tobacco processing 
from procurement to preparation in cigarettes. Even today, the two large warehouses that made up the working and socializing environments of the workers stand out. In some rooms, the instrument and machinery of the time are concert, used by the workers in the phases of handling and transformation of the product. The EK8 played a role in the financial increase of the agricultural economy, especially for the families of the farmers of Trucase and the municipalities of Capodileuca. The complex is a representative monument of the industrial archaeology of Salento, especially the entire South Salento area. The asset was purchased by the municipality of Tricase in 2002 with the intent to start cultural activities related to the enhancement and promotion of the territory and its history. One of the most striking buildings in Tricase is the Church of Our Lady of Constantinople, also known as the Church of the Devils. The church was built in the open country in 1685 by Jacopo Francesco Arborio Gattinara under the Principality of Stefano Gallone to pay homage to the Blessed Virgin. On the square of the building for centuries have been celebrated several important agricultural affairs now fallen into disuse. The oldest, established by the Marquis de la Gattinara immediately after the construction of the church, was dedicated to the Holy Spirit and was held on the day of Pentecost. In the 19th century, the exhibition dedicated to the patron saint of Tricase, Sant Vito Marte, was scheduled every 15th June. The particular architecture with an octagonal shape has certainly influenced the birth of ancient legends. In fact, according to some stories of the inhabitants, the building was built by the devil at the request of the old prince. On the road that connects the town to Tricase Porto starts with its 700 years of age, one of the oldest specimens in the world of Valonia oak. In the past, acorns produced by the oak were used by the tanners during the phases of leather processing in order to obtain a softer product thanks to the presence of tannin. The inhabitants also call it the Oak of 100 Nights. In fact, according to a fanciful and anachronistic medieval legend, under one of its broad branches, a hundred soldiers led by the Emperor Frederick II of Swabia found shelter. Valonia is a rare essence in the European context, present in a few areas of Salento and the Balkans, probably arrived in Italy during the Byzantine rule and frequent commercial exchanges with the Levant. Its majesty still dominates the landscape of Tricasa's countryside and is testimony to the magnificence of nature. Tricase Porto is the main seaside of the municipal territory. Already present in the documents of the 14th century, the port consists of a natural inlet, where in its interior flow several water sources.
During the 20th century, the port area was enlarged and today it is enlivened by the boats of foreign tourists, local fishermen and associations. Among the most evocative activities, the Magna Grecia Maria Association has brought back to life a hundred-year-old cake. In order to valorize the traditional navy and recover the ancient use of the Latin sail, As in the past, still today the fishmen from Tricase are dedicated to their productive activities, offering, among other things, various innovative reception services linked to the tourism, to the excursions in the cave and to the typical home cooking. Moving instead under the slopes of the promontory Calino, you reach Marina Serra. The landscape is dominated by the ancient Torre Palane, Cosa Fortress built in the 16th century to defend the territory from enemy attacks from the sea. Torre Palane communicated to the south with Torre Nasparo, of the municipality of Tigiano and to the north with now vanished Torre de Porto of Tricase, demolished by the British fleet in the early 19th century. Particular is the Piscina dei Monaci, an artificial inlet built for the baths of the Dominican friars of the convent and enlarged in the 20th century. A place with a pleasant landscape. The seaside attracts many vacationers and tourists during the summer. In the warm months, at first light from down, from the coast of Marina Serra, it is easy to see several schools of dolphins intent on elegantly furring the blue waters of the Otonto Canal. This series of characteristics of the marine of Tricase allows visitors to enjoy a splendid panorama, enjoying the scent of saltiness while immersed in the vegetation of the cliff and the blue of the crystalline sea. <laughs>